Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video I'm going to show you how do you hide the page number from the cover page. Okay, whether it's at the center or at the side, how do you hide this? Okay, I didn't delete it, you can't delete it because if you delete it, then the rest of the, your document would, would not have a page number anymore. I just need to hide it. Okay. Now here I prepared. Okay, say I have first page is actually my cover page, page two is my content. Page 3 is another content, page 4 and page 5. Okay, there are total 5 paper or 5 pages in this document. So, how about now? How do you add page number and how do you actually hide from the first page? That's the first part of the video. Second part of the video will be how can I change the format of the page number between uh, two pages? Right, say the first two page, I'll be using a Roman format, Roman letter format. Then the following three pages, I'll be using the Arabic letters. Right. So how can I have two different formatting in one document? So let's start off with the page number. Okay. So page number, any page number in pages is very easy. Okay. All I need to do is hover my mouse to down here in this area. Right. And then I will have three columns, and then it will appear just like that. Okay, it doesn't need to do anything. It doesn't need to hover your mouse over to there. It depends on your school or the template given to you. So different university or different types of document, the requirement for where you should place a page number uh, at different position. Say some prefer to be in the middle, some prefer to lower right hand corner, some prefer to be upper left hand corner. So it depends on what document you're working on with. You need to check with your school or university. Okay. So let's say I want to do it in the middle. So here. So I want to have page one, page number at the middle. So what I'm going to do is hover my mouse to here. Then I click, left click. Then all I need to do is just press insert page number. Um, you need to check with your school again how the format it has to be. Is it just the number or one out of total number of the page one or page one of five? So it depends what format okay is required so let's say this is the first one okay then you see that the others page will have the same when you follow this same format one two three right so first video is actually to hide this number so there are total five pages of so how do I hide it it's very easy it's very easy how all you need to do is you choose document here because this is a document setting click right of course you may change the letter to probably a4 in case your printer does not work with other format and then the unit is cm right so if it's not cm then uh, you can go to page and then preference and then um, go to lula and then change it to centimeter we do not use points okay if it points means you i mean you use different screen size then it will be more accurate if you use point but most of the time you use centimeter right so yeah this is how i change it to cm then yeah come back to the page number so page number document setting then you click section then you click high on first page of section you just click it first page see gone right do it again see it's gone now now you see it, now you don't, now you see it, now you don't, right? It's gone. But you can have a page number in page two onwards. So two, three, four, five. It's all Arabic. Right? I've hide the footer in my page cover, in my cover page. Now, next part two would be how can I have different formatting? In the first three page would be Roman and then page 4 onwards would be Arabic. Now to do that, all I need to do is you click at page 4, okay, anywhere around any area in page 4, and then all you need to do is to create new section starting with this page. So page 4 onwards here, I want it to be Arabic 1. Okay, so starting with this page, right? Then what happened? I mean, the page number gone. Okay, just now I have page number is now gone because here I want it to be 
in Arabic. So all you do is un unhide it. I want to show, unhide it, come back. I need to uncheck match previous section. So I need to uncheck it. So it will have different format from now on. And then format, I choose one, two, three. See, there's a different already. This is Roman. This is Arabic four. But I need to start from start at one. Okay, so it's like one. Right? So this is how it goes, right? You may pause my video and then you rewind or you rewind to the previous bit. How do I do it? Okay? You just at this page, you create section at this page, and then you uncheck this, uncheck this, and change the format. Right? So this is how I hide the page number and change the format for my document. So I have two different format. Page one remain, there's no page number here. I will have page number officially two, three, and then page four, I will have an Arabic, a different format already. You can see the difference is one, two. So if I were to add another page here, let's say I insert page break, I'll have page three. Okay? Page two, page three. You can see it here. Three. Alright. I think that's all for today where this video will show you how to hide page number. At the same time, I show you how to change the format for the page numbering. First time watching my video, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye.